And by the way, Stephen, what was your last name, please? I didn't get that earlier. Okay, so I got all that. I was just listening in on the call to make sure that everything. So the deal is with this property, he has two properties he wants to sell. Both are rented. I need to get the information as re in regards to how much they're rented for. Um, he wants 75000 for both properties. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I mean, it looks like one of them's worth about 60000 and one's worth about 50000 supposedly ARV so um, I'm not sure if those numbers are going to work matter of fact let's check here it's hard to do that 130 times uh, minus oh that might work we're not too far off actually if the house don't need any repairs and these are going to be somewhat turnkey properties they have tenants in them like I said I'm about to give them a call back see if we can uh, strike up a good conversation with them if this video provides you any type of value be sure to give it a like give it a share hit that little share button right there share it out to someone who likes this real estate talk we're going to see if we can get them on the phone right now we don't know what's going to happen I don't know if it's going to be good or bad or what but he seemed motivated and he just got off the phone with my assistant about 15 minutes ago so that's very important. That's a note for you for today. A nugget. Make sure you call these people back quickly if you say you're going to call them back. Don't wait too long because he called in on our main line, which is the website, which means he probably found it through Google or I'm not sure where he found us at. But he, when he called that number, he got us off the Internet, which means he's going down the line possibly and talking to a lot of different investors. And we want to lock them up quick. Lock them up quick with Chris. So that'll work. Let's see if we can get him on the phone here. Mr. Steven. Hey, or should I call him Steve? I don't know if he goes off Steve or Steven. But I'm going to ask that when I get him on the phone, as a matter of fact. Connect to your phone. So like I said, share this out, and that'll be great of you. Let's get him on the phone. Let's see if he's home. Hey Steve, this is Chris. How are you today? Good yourself. Pretty good. Yeah, I uh, I know you had just finished talking to my assistant a little bit ago, and I just wanted to get back with you so I can see if it's something we can work out a deal here. Um, did I catch you at a good time? Yeah, that's good. Good, sure. good. And so uh, she said something about both of these were investment properties, and there's um I guess there's tenants in both. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Which the other one will be three years in uh, June. Washington Street will be three. Or Washington Street is three years now. So they're three years in one. So their lease ends about when? I'm, I'm sorry. About how long until their lease is going to be ending? Actually, they're not on the contract anymore. I, I don't even put a. I didn't even uh, make a sign of the lease because I, I. I knew this year I was going to try to do something different. I know that's right. And so the one on Washington, what are they paying there a month? They're paying 850. Eight and that's, that's, that's Section 8. Uh, that's a, a young lady. That's a young lady. I, I call her young. She's about 50 years old and she has a uh, teenage daughter uh, who's in, uh, well, she's not even in high school yet. So and she, she does pretty well with keeping up the house every day. That's what we want. Good people that'll stay good and keep it clean, right? Yes, yes. And so, uh, so she's paying eight fifty on Section Eight. Is she planning on staying, or does she know you're selling, or what? Are, what are they thinking about? You know, you selling the property. See, I didn't. I didn't alert them yet. Oh, okay. Uh, I wanted to try to. I wanted. I wanted to try to put feelers out there and see what I can get first. Uh, if I can get some potential buyers, and then uh, we'll go from there. Then I'll let them know. But like I mentioned, that's why I didn't uh, renew the contract just yet. But each tenant, well, I know. Texas you from? I'm in Houston. Oh, okay. My I'm friend just moved down there too a couple of years ago. Down in Houston. Everybody moving I'm to trying, Texas. I'm trying to start. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I've been here for 20 years. I, I came back to St. Louis to take care of my dad in 2016. And while I was there, I ended up purchasing these properties. So, uh, give me something to do while I was taking care of them. Was and, it? Uh, 
Was it a pretty good experience for you overall? Oh, yeah, with the with purchasing the property? Yeah, being an investor. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I have property here in Houston, and I sold it. Come take care of my dad. I thought he was going to live longer. But um, just to keep myself busy, uh, I, I bought him. And it was, it was a good experience. It was a good experience. This is not the first time either, though. So I bought, I bought several other properties uh, in St. Louis and, and turned around and sold them. But this one here, since I was taking care of my dad, I wanted some income coming in. Yeah, that was smart. If I had to do it over again, I, I, I would do it, but I think it would be a little bit different. I would probably give them uh, an ultimatum, hey, you know, purchase it uh, after the first year. Uh, this is what I'm looking to do. Or well, just sell it out right at a time like that if I finished it. Yeah, yeah. No and so the one over on Jackson, what are they paying every month? So we take care of them. That's why. In, in, in other words, I did. I did. So, uh, and I, did, I hadn't even gone up on them either, though. But I, I, was, I was supposed to send a contract or lease, another lease agreement uh, last month, and they agreed to pay the 900 But I got so busy here in, in Texas, Lord, I just, I just dropped the ball. Oh, man. So they want to buy the house, and the other uh, lady she wants to buy too. So both of them are potential people that would like to buy the house if the financing was set up for them, huh? I don't think I don't think their financing would uh would go through. So yeah. I don't think it would go through. Is that one on Jackson a Section Eight as well, or just regular standard rental? No, it's regular uh, rent. Regular rent. Okay. Regular rent, and then so they want to buy, so basically they want to stay, and then this other one wants to stay as well. And so they seem like it's pretty good houses here. I mean, what made you decide to want to sell them? I want to do something here. Uh, I have my, I, I sold my house here. I'm living in an apartment now. I need, I need to buy another house, man. I got, I have storage with like a, with all my furniture in it. This has been going on now since I left here in 2016. Oh my goodness! And you know, and I'm tired of living in an apartment. I have my uh, my youngest daughter who graduated uh, high school this year, so it is just time to get out of these apartments, man. That's, that's pretty much it. The price I paid for an apartment, I can I can definitely. It wasn't even my house wasn't that much. So, and we're looking at we're talking about a two two bedroom apartment. Right. So it's, yeah. It's time for me to it's time for me to start doing something else, man. Really. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Because, you know, they've been going up on all the taxes in St. Louis every year, it seems like. Man, that, that, yeah, coming off of that money just like that. It's, it's, uh, yeah. So I don't have any mortgage on it. Uh, I bought uh, both properties outright. But like I mentioned, I made, uh, I made a decent amount within these three, four, uh, three years to where I know I paid one of them off. So, you know, I'm okay with that. I know that's um, right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Time to get them moving, right? 
And so uh, my biggest thing is just, you know, as long as, the, you know, the tenants don't give us any problems when they, it's time to get a new lease or, you know, something different. That's, that'd be the only thing when we buy properties with tenants involved. That's why I was asking about how do they feel about it? What do they think? Or you say they, they pretty much want to stay in the house or if not buy the house if possible. So we do have some programs that may be able to help them as well in that situation. <laughs> Is that good of a house? Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I really like it. My daughter's like it. We were working on it. It's, uh, it's just a really nice house. It's a really nice house. Uh, it's got some little issues, man. Like when it rained really hard, you, you see a little leak in the basement, you know. But I didn't even think about going back and filling it because they wanted to get in the house so fast. And by this time, my father died and I didn't even get back to check So nobody's um, looked at that to see if it's a foundation issue or what the issue could be on it? Or do you have an idea? or is it more so you just want to get the responsibility of dealing with tenants and things? helping providing housing for the community. Nothing wrong with that. So they just get to keep all their money, huh? And Section 8 pay the rent. So, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Um, and so I guess these properties aren't able to be seen inside at all because if you don't want to really alert the tenants, is that what it is?
Yeah, yeah, we're definitely serious about it. So, like I said, I don't know if she told you or not, my assistant, that we buy houses all over St. Louis. So, you know, we, we come across every different type of scenario. That's why we just try to figure out how we can make it a win-win situation for you and for us so that everybody's happy in the end. That's the biggest thing. And with you being down in Houston, Texas, you know, you don't want to have to worry about property in St. Louis, running back and forth. And Have they been giving you any trouble over the last three years or anything like that? Somebody else got to pay that, not out of your pocket, right? Because you ain't going to make no money doing that. time catches us all <laughs> so we have a couple of different ways we can uh, there's a couple of different ways we can do this um, we can uh, get you actual cash offer on your property and I know my assistant may have mentioned to you also that uh, you know or asked you would you consider taking a monthly payment for the property until you were paid off in full is that something you're open to as well Yeah, so basically we structure a deal where we basically would buy the house. We would actually uh, set up a term, you know, so much time. Uh, we would pay you monthly for it. We would be 100% for, responsible for all of the maintenance and repairs of the property going forward. You get no calls about tenants, toilets, squirrels, or anything else going on. You just collect a check every month of passive cash flow, just like you have it now, just without any of the riffraff of dealing with, you know, uh, tenants and things because you know because every once in a while things come up but we deal with all of that it's basically um better than even having a property manager you actually don't have to deal with the house at all we close all deals through a real estate attorney or through the title company here in st louis so you're protected in the deal everything's you know drawn up so it's clear and so you don't have any problems you just collect the check and uh we deal with the house and deal with everything else i mean it's just exactly what you were looking for originally you know, it just it, that that type of program will help you if you're not looking to get a big chunk of cash like right now or something. You know, so that's why I was asking: Is it more about getting a big, a big lump of money right now, or is it more just about getting rid of the, having to deal with these properties? Well, I would be honest with you. Um, that sounds good. If, if you can tell me what I'm looking for. Uh, is there interest included in that? Uh, we can set we can set up something like that. Yeah, we've done them that way. We've done them with interest, without interest. Just depends. You know, we can actually pay more for the houses. You know, when we buy them this way, so like we would have no problem buying them for the prices you're asking. Would you say seventy five thousand for both of them? So what's that like about thirty seven thousand each or something like that? Because uh, you know, 
Right. We we could probably do something like that, and we could set it up to where you know where you're actually winning in the deal. And like I said, you don't have to deal with anything as far as the house. You're just collecting a check. You became the bank. You're you are now Bank of America when we get done with the deal. Basically, is what how how it will work. So I mean, I, yeah. So yeah, like I said, we just structure the deal to where you actually just uh, you don't have to deal with the house anymore. It's really pretty simple, straightforward. As long as the house doesn't need anything major like foundation work or a thirty thousand dollar repair or something crazy, you know, we usually can work something out to where, like I said, you can still keep your passive income, still be in Texas, and don't have to worry about these houses in St. Louis. Yeah, we usually buy with nothing down, but you know, I mean, what do you think is is uh, I mean, what's the lowest you think you could take as far as the down payment? Well, I'm trying to buy a house here, so uh, I need some kind of down payment um, as well. So uh, I'm looking at Yeah, you got one of the best in the business. See, you on here with a heavy hitter. See, you know, you deal with some of these people. You're like, they don't even know what they're talking about. So, yeah, we do these deals all the type of way. <laughs> we solve the problem. It's more about how do we solve it. Uh, we're in St. Louis. Uh, one of our offices is up by the airport on Woodson. And we have another one down in South County. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so, yeah, you're familiar with the area then. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right around the corner. Yeah, not too far. You're in the same zip code. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah we can definitely uh so what i will do here is i'm going to run some numbers see what we can come up with as far as you know either a cash offer and as well as uh you know what we can do if we did a terms deal and you know we can see you know we can make it work out for you and for us so it's a win-win situation so if we're able to work everything out how soon would you be looking to close man i don't owe any mortgages on it so i'm ready to go whenever you guys are so um yeah um we can we can make it happen as soon as possible Okay. Okay. So yeah, just let me run, do a little research here and do a little numbers. You know, see if uh, you know, see if it would be better for us to just keep those tenants that are there if they're paying all the time and they're not a problem. I mean, we have no problem. We don't want to displace anybody. We want to make this a smooth transition for everybody involved, especially because you know you got your fam, you know, people that's like family living in one house. We don't want to make them sour at you or anything. We want to make them happy with everything. So. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay. Cool deal. Uh, like I mentioned, I got a couple other guys, man, that I've been, and I got my ex, I even got my ex-wife on it, man. So, oh, man, you know, uh, the ex-wife, she's in it. Yeah, <laughs> hey, she, there's something she won't, she, she won't jump down out of the deal, but she, now I have a problem with her, you know, man, she's with, with me. So, uh, and she lives in St. Louis, too, so. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's cool. So, yeah, and as you know, an all-cash deal would be a little less than, you know, what we can offer as far as a terms deal. I just want to make sure you know that, you know, we buy them cash, we get them, you know, a little bit on a discount. And as far as an all-cash offer, what's the lowest you think you would take as far as just an outright cash deal, done with them, hands clean, we pay the closing costs, you don't have to worry about anything, take home money.
Yeah, it um, is. But the thing is, too, we have to make sure that these tenants are actually going to be on the lease. Because, you know, like I said, a tenant can be, a, I mean, I don't think these are going to be a problem. I'm just telling you from experience, when we when we acquire a property with a tenant in them, say if they decide to not want to move or say they start saying, I don't want to pay no more, you know, any kind of problem, we're not going to come back to you and ask you to save the day. We're going to deal with it, you know, and we don't, you know, and that's an investment or something we would have to deal with. It's not your problem anymore or whatever, you know what I mean? So we have to be very careful when we acquire properties that are, you know, they're not necessarily necessarily lease to somebody i mean you know what i mean because we don't want it we don't want any problems going forward like i said we want to make it a smooth transition all the way around for the tenants for the seller for us as buyers and everybody's happy that's what we want to do to make it just you know a clean thing right. for everybody that's okay. so we so 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 we're by if we bought i mean we buy houses over in this area generally for like 25 to 30 each i mean you think that's too low or what do you think about something like that Um, sometimes we have to put a little bit of something into them, you know, and we, we not, that would be a light rehab. That wouldn't be anything major because, you know, natural wear and tear from somebody living there for a few years, things like that, you know, right. paint, carpet, you know, cosmetics, really, as long as there's nothing major. Like I said, it doesn't sound like these houses are bad at all. It's just that, you know, we buy them all cash, you know, that, that kind of knocks the numbers down a little bit, but I want to get you the most as possible. You know, I want, I don't want to just get you what you want. I want to get you what you deserve. So let me run some comps on them and everything and make sure, you know, that the numbers make sense for, for us. So, and, you know, and factoring in the fact that we have tenants involved and they're already paying rent and everything, because, you know, that all makes a difference as well. I'm going to do a little research here and uh, see what we can come up with and get you a couple of different offers. You know, like I said, a cash offer and a terms offer. Other than that, Steve, did you have any other questions for me before I let you go? Well, do your comps, man. I know, uh, one, the, the house next door sold for like 93000 on uh, Washington. So you still have a deal. And you want to sell them both, right? You want to sell them both? Oh, yeah, get them out of there. Right, right. And so also I did want to ask you, I know you said you're looking for a house down in Houston. Are you looking for something just to kind of fix up or you want something that's retail ready to go down there? No, not retail. I, I will never buy retail. Never buy retail. Please don't do it. <laughs> for this stuff because you know it's crazy so yeah i am connected with some people there in houston several investors and they come across different properties so that's why i was asking i may be able to send them your way and have them see yeah see i saw the problem all the way around that's why i try to tell you steve i'm your friend in st louis you ain't even know it <laughs> see i come to, I, I try to help the whole deal out i want to help you win All right, yeah, over Trump, huh? <laughs> yeah, make that happen, man. You know, let's see what we can do. All right, that'll work. Other than that, did you have any other questions for me? No, sir, man. That's, that's it. I appreciate your, uh, your call. All right, 
I'll be back with you here soon. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. That lead came in off of our website, so that's what I was saying earlier in the stream. Anybody who caught, you know, came in late. Um, basically, yeah, he went on our website, called us up. He ended up speaking to my assistant. She took all his basic information down. He wants to sell two properties. They're investment properties. He lives in Houston, Texas. And like I just told him, I got some people down there that can hook him up with a, a nice wholesale deal if he's looking to just buy a house to fix up for himself. So you got to be connected. You got to use all your tools in the toolbox, people. If you're talking to these people and you know somebody in another area that they can help them out, I got what? At least eight people I know in Texas, maybe more. That's in the Houston area, more in Dallas, more in other parts of Texas and other parts of Virginia and all these other places. Connection. See, I had to tip, tip them with that. You like that on the end? So, yeah, man, I got some people that can send you some, some deals down in Houston. You know, that, that, that's a close. See, he don't know how I'm building that rapport. I want him to know, like, and trust me and know that I'm a resource for him. I'm not just some buyer in St. Louis. I want to become a trusted advisor. I want to help him. I want to help him solve all of his problems, whether it's with the tenants, whether it's with the city, whether it's with him buying a house in Texas. I want to be a resource for him. So now he's going to know that, man, I want to sell it to Chris because I like him. He's a problem solver. That's the kind of people I want on my team. I want to be on the dream team. So let's see here. Any other questions or anything before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Let's see here. Bro, I respect you heavily. Appreciate this value. Appreciate it, T Profits. Let's see. Use your tools in the toolbox. That's right. Let me scroll up, see if I missed some other questions here. Uh, let's see here scrolling if this gave you any type of help any kind of value give this video a thumbs up share it out hit that little share button right there share it to somebody who needs to know this stuff you know talking to sellers is so important you can get the marketing down you can get all that get, get your phone to ring it you can put out bandit signs get people to call but if you don't know how to speak to these people on the phone all of that goes in vain we don't want to be like that we want to win so as you notice I didn't go too deep in the numbers on them either because I want to do some more research see how I feel about it and you see how I asked them, you know, you want 75000 for both properties? I mean, how do you feel about, you know, 25 to 30 each? Just to get his temperature. I didn't make an offer. I just gave a, a range. I didn't give a solid offer because another thing is we know there's other investors involved. We don't know what they're going to offer. So I'm going to give them a multiple offer strategy. My One of my offers I know for sure is going to be exactly what he's asking for, 37000 each on terms, if he take the terms, depending on the numbers, if it makes sense. And if he wants a cash offer, I'm looking around 25000 each. You know, I'm thinking, you know, like I said, I got to run the numbers to make sure. 25 k each, and he walk away with 50 k and pay the closing costs, and I host to sell them off to somebody else. Or I might want to take one of these down myself. I don't look like some bad property, as I just showed you a picture of this one. Nice brick house. Bricks. All white bricks. All white bricks. That's one of them right there. So, let's have a few quick time concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. Don't forget, we're going live How by Brian tomorrow night. That's going to be Tuesday night this time for this week. Tuesday the 14th, uh, we're going to be on with House Bond Brian talking about the multiple strategy offer, multiple offer strategy. Dyslexic, that's what I'm going to be doing actually with this deal, a multiple offer strategy. I'm going to give him a cash offer, a terms offer, and a lease option offer, and an offer to even say we will list the property for you. I would just refer to one of my real estate agent friends here in St. Louis. Other than that, like I said, um, also, don't forget, put in, uh, text the word JV to 31996. JV to 31996. That's to get the uh, JV agreement, a free JV agreement. Text JV to 31996, and you'll get the free JV agreement. What time for tomorrow? 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. And then after that, we'll be right back on our Monday shows, Monday night, raw, radio style, 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern. That's how we're going to do it. So, yeah, we'll see you on there tomorrow night, T Profits. We'll go live on here, too, a little bit before it starts, but it'll be streaming live on YouTube at Chris Monroe STL, streaming live on the Facebook Woke Real Estate Investors Group. If you haven't joined that yet, you sleep. Get on in there and do that there. It'll be streaming live in there as well. So hopefully this video provided you some value. If you want contracts to do any type of deal, cool gear. Well, not this hat, but one of these other hats to say. I buy houses or coaching. WokeRealEstate.com is the website. Links in the description or the bio here. 
wokerealestate.com for everything you need real estate. Other than that, do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Peace out, man.